Hello everyone. And Matthew's parents, Greg and Karen. Welcome to Matthew and Sarah's wedding. Yeah. I hope you all have enjoyed them so far. I'm gonna read this. I think you'll all agree with me that Sarah looks absolutely beautiful tonight. He's a very lucky man having such a beautiful girl like Sarah as his wife. Yeah. Not forgetting, he also gets me as his father-in-law. Yeah. How lucky can you get? Yeah. Uh, about, about two years ago, gee, it seems like me yesterday, Gail said to me that Matthew and Sarah have decided to get married and get engaged soon. And I thought as most fathers do, oh no, I'm about to lose my little girl. This precious little thing that we raised. <laughs> Thinking Sarah leaving home and getting married was a bit of a shock. Maybe a little bit too soon, not for her, but for me. Yeah. As far as I was concerned, she was still only a little baby. Yeah. Yes, it seems like only yesterday I was holding her in my arms and cuddling her, rocking her to sleep, feeding her bottle, patting her on the back when she's got a bit of indigestion, and having her throw all over my shirt. Babies do. Is it happening again tonight? <laughs> I'm dancing with her if she's had a few drinks. Nothing else has really changed. So after being told they were getting married, I began to accept that she was growing up and it was about time for her to spread her wings and leave the nest and make her way in her own, in her own life. I could see that Matthew and Sarah were, were in love and were, were perfect for each other. So getting married was the right thing for them to do. That's one page. Yeah. But I thought, thank God the wedding was going to be months away, so it'll give me uh, plenty of time to get it, take it all in and get organised and start saving. I thought I'd have to do, uh, stop Gar from buying her shoes so that we could save her money. It did happen. The, man, the, the amount of milk was at work. Anyway, Gar also said, you've got to make a speech. And I thought, jeez. Said shock waves down the spine here. Uh, anyway, I wasn't worried too much, as you can tell. Uh, but I'm not much of a public speaker, and I've even suggested to Matthew and Sarah they should elope. I've used the money to, for a trip overseas to avoid this moment, so it's pretty scary up here, but Matthew, don't worry, it's going to be your turn in a minute. <laughs> anyway, Sarah and, Gar and Karen, I think, over there, there she is, had always had a keen uh, idea for maybe a big wedding. So I thought my chances of them eloping were pretty small. It's pretty slim, if you like. And I think Matthew might have been okay with the idea because he got to make a speech in a minute too. Uh, even though I'm not keen on public speaking, I, I need to thank a few people today. Got on the spot here. Uh, especially those who've come a long way to, to, to join us here to, today. Uh, some family members have, have come from across Australia to get here. Some of my family have been from Queensland. That's us. <laughs> Some from Golden Grove. Uh, I've got Salisbury. Did anybody from Salisbury? No. Uh, okay. Uh, to, uh, uh, Sarah's uncle Tony over there, and Annie Maxine. That's us. All the way from Margaret Bridge. We get a cup lunch and a couple of water to get in. Uh, and I want to, speaking of Tony, I want to say thanks, Tony, for uh, a fantastic service yeah. at the church. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure that we really have enjoyed it. And Matthew and Sarah appreciated it and uh, your words of wisdom there. Yeah. I've already told Tony that when I die, and next to the funeral, you can do, my, you can do the service of me there. Yeah. Only if I go first. Oh. Uh, I want to thank Matthew's parents too, down here. Karen and Greg. Or Greg and Karen. So they're helping fund the wedding. It's been a joint effort here, and without their help, this wouldn't be happening tonight. So thank you once again, you guys. Yeah. Actually, I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah. I want to thank uh, Gail over there, my wife. Yeah. Who I've helped to organise the, uh, the wedding. She's done a lot of running around over the last 12 months and yeah. put a lot of effort into this uh, wedding to make it run smoothly. I'm going to thank those in the wedding party here. We've done a good job today. 
especially Rachel over there, who's the, my other daughter, the maid of honour. Yeah. We're helping the sissy here, Sarah, Sarah <laughs> uh, over the last few months, and anyway, especially the day. Yeah. Yeah. I especially yeah, want to remind her not to get involved with any boys because we don't do this again for a long, long time. <laughs> Yeah. Special thanks to Uncle David over here. Yeah! For the Rolls Royce. Sorry about the debt and the post. We get today, we get a post. And getting it all polished up and ready for the occasion to do a top job on that. Uh, I want to thank Jason and, and Naomi over there. Yeah! 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 I want to thank David again for driving the car. Matthew's brother is Charles. Where's Charles? I've lost him. Somewhere over here. Over here? Oh, there he is. Good. Thank you, Charles. For doing the show for him. And Stephen as well, my son over there. Somewhere. Yeah. 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 I want to thank Shelly. Shelly, Shelly, Shelly. 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 Over there for doing the photography. Oh, yeah. Remy for doing the uh, DJ up the top. Yeah. Good job tonight, mate. Play a few oldies. Uh, now, getting in the middle of the section. <laughs> Page four. I really want to, I can't believe it. It's been like, it seems like only yesterday we were bringing Sarah home from church. Uh, church, church. From the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful little tiny thing with skinny arms and legs, big eyes and a pretty face. She looked just like a uh, mother. <laughs> Some would say a grandmother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sarah was a beautiful little baby. Not much hair on the top of her head. Just like your grandfather, isn't it? Uh, used to tie her hair in a little bar at the top of her head. She was a daddy's little girl growing up, always happy and never any trouble. Uh, not like the boys I've got me now here. Where are they? Uh, this one gives me hell. Uh, I remember when she was small, we used to, I used to lift her up and hold her in my arms while I played my records. Yes, records back in those days. Remember you remember? One of the cabinets in the lounge had a mirror in the back of it and she used to look at and point to us both you know, dancing there, we were all swaying with our heads together as we swayed to the music. Remember that, Sarah? I couldn't lift her now if I tried, she's a bit heavier. But I'm sure she remembers those good times, singing along with my 60s, 70s, 80s music. I think the DJ, I think Remy's going to play a few of those old favourites tonight for us. And favourites of hers now, sometime after this... Uh, speech, I guess. Uh, music's been a bit of a big part of Sarah's life. Uh, she's loved to dance as a child and went to dancing class and made a beautiful little bar ballerina. Yeah. At school she joined the high school choir. She sang uh, that well that she was picked to do a solo spot at the Festival Theatre. Uh, what was I going to say? So she's grown up and turned into a beautiful young lady. And even though she can be a little shy at times when you first meet her, she's got a terrific sense of humour. Uh, she's very witty, Andrew. Witty, witty, witty. They hate me saying witty because Andrew always used to say, Dad, they're witty, they're witty. Because I used to say it all the time. Uh, <laughs> anyway, as the years have gone by, Sarah has gotten older and she's got better and better looking, just like a uh, mother. <laughs> and as you, she's not grown any bigger, but she's, uh, she's, but they say, you know, good things come in small packages. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at mother.